So if you ever had some trouble trying to get some cool plugins to work on Burp Suite, but require something like Jyphon or JRuby to actually get started, well today I'm going to show you just how to do that. So this is quite a common thing that I come across, uh, especially with people who are just getting uh, acquainted with Burp Suite. Uh, they want to try all these cool plugins in the extender, but they just get a little bit tripped up uh, where, with installing Jyphon or JRuby. Um, and it's a pretty simple fix, it's not particularly hard, but a small little gotcha. So I'm going to show you just how to do that. So fire up Burt Suite as you normally would, and go over to the Extender tab, followed by the Bat Store sub tab. And you can probably see all of these cool e extensions that may require Jyphon or JRuby to run. So one would obviously follow through and download Jyphon and then proceed to download the installer, install it, and it's not working. Well, what happens here is that BirdSuite actually needs the actual executable of Jyphon or JRuby to actually run, and you need to link that in the BirdSuite config. So just running the installer and thinking that it's all done uh, won't actually help this situation. So what I typically do is just download the Jyphon standalone, and this is a standalone jar file. It might take a few seconds to download. So once that has downloaded, we're going to go across to the Options sub tab, and you'll see the Python environment section here. Uh, you'll see location of Jyphon standalone jar file there. So just select file here and point it to wherever you've kept the Jyphon jar file. So for me, I keep all my Windows pen test files in my VM in the in a pretty static directory so pen test files tools jyphon and i can simply click that head back to the bat store and just click off it and then click back on it and then you'd be able to install it just like that so this is pretty easy to do but it's just not as easy as running an installer and expecting it to be done now the same can be done using the exact same path with jruby so i'll show you how to set that up so the ad hoc payload processor needs JRuby to run. So just simply once again, click the tab to download JRuby and it brings us up to this page. So we're going to want to download the complete jar file here. So just click that and it'll take a few seconds to download. And once it's downloaded and you've moved it to a safe location, just go again to the option sub tab, go Ruby environment and select file. And I've got it just in this directory here. Go back to extensions, sorry, the app store. And we can now install the ad hoc payload processor. So that's all there is to it. Nice quick tutorial for you guys if you've have had this problem before. Highly recommend installing Jyphon and JRuby as you can get a lot of cool extensions from the BAP store. My, one of my personal favorites is SQL Map in uh, Burp Suite. So stay tuned because I'll do a dedicated video on that. Anyway, thanks for the view. Please just be sure to like, subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one.